Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Vanessa. I make videos on fashion, makeup, beauty, and lifestyle. And today I'm sharing with you guys my very first Costco haul. And this was unintentionally our largest haul ever. This is the receipt. I'll let you guys guess what the total will be in the comments below. And I will tell you guys over on my Instagram after. So I'm just going to hop right in and show you some of the things we got. Okay, so first we just stocked up on our marinated chicken legs. We separate these into baggies and freeze them and it'll probably make at least four meals for us, if not more. Um, the next thing is a new product. I've never seen it at Costco. Um, maybe it's just us. We haven't looked at it, but it's actually fully cooked barbecue pulled pork. It looks amazing. It has two portions and it comes with the barbecue sauce. So that looks delicious. Next thing, we actually had this for dinner tonight and it, they are so good. They're the chicken tacos and they're pre-prepared and they're actually on sale. So they were, I think two or $3 off. So they were almost 10 bucks and we had both of us ate and there's enough for leftovers for one of us for lunch. The next thing is our favorite. We grabbed this three pack of the deli meat and we we actually freeze them. So we'll take one out at a time, put it in the fridge and freeze the other two. I love the ham in my omelets, in my eggs. That's a big one for me. This one's a new product as well. This looks really good. So I'm trying to eat a little bit more healthy and I want to have some more salads on lunch, at lunchtime because I find that I don't eat if there's nothing ready. So a quick salad, throw some chicken breasts on top is going to be my lunch go-to. We also picked up a rotisserie chicken. We shred this up and we put it into pastas. We put it into sandwiches. We make all kinds of yummy things with that one. So we'll go on over to this side. So the first thing I had to pick up was my whipped cream for my coffee. Um, if you follow me over on Instagram stories, then you know I am obsessed with this for my coffees. Um, let me know if you guys want to see the recipe and exactly what I put besides this in my coffee. And I will um, share that with you guys. The next thing we picked up was some honey. They didn't have the normal honey that we get, which is like the Kirkland one in the glass jar so we actually just tried out this organic one in a squeeze bottle which i think will be easier to use instead um i usually get strawberry jam but i usually get the um the homemade type i can't remember the brand name but they have like a homemade one uh i decided to try this one instead it was a little bit less and it says it has less calories and there was less sugar so i'm thinking this will be really good as well we picked up our natural creamy peanut butter. This one primarily goes uh, just for Charlie's cookies. I make his doggy biscuits from this peanut butter and a couple other ingredients. Super easy, super budget friendly. They're amazing. They're healthy for the dog. So I actually posted that on my reels on my Instagram page. So if you're not already following me, go on over to my Instagram and uh, check out my reels because I have a really quick recipe for your doggy treats with this. The next thing we picked up is just some fine ground black pepper because we were all out um, and we can't leave Costco without their cookies. Like if, if you know, you know, like these are our cookies. The next thing we picked up was just some brown sugar. I'm going to start using this to make my own coffee syrup, like the Starbucks syrups that they put in your coffee. Um, so a lot of the recipes called for brown sugar and other ingredients. So I grabbed a bunch of brown sugar. This one here, I'm so excited. I haven't actually purchased this before, but I heard that these Starbucks chai tea lattes are made with this. And this whole pack of three of them was like $10. So one Starbucks is almost $10 for me. So this is a no brainer. I'm gonna start experimenting with this. Let me know if you guys have tried this and how you liked it. The next thing that I picked up was our bagels. We love the bagels. We got the everything for my fiance and I got the jalapeno cheddar because those are my favorite. We also picked up a thing of artesian burger buns. These are going to be great for the pulled pork sandwiches, any type of regular sandwich. And even if you just want to whip up some bacon and eggs in the morning, everything's good on these. So the next thing we picked up was 
uh, two loaves of our organic flax and chia seed bread. Um, this bread is so delicious. I love it. And we actually freeze both of them. And since it's just the two of us here, we just take out the slices, defrost, and toast them when we use them. And this lasts forever. So the next thing we got is our coffee. So this is Justin's coffee and he likes a less strong blend, which the breakfast blend is a light roast. It's perfect. He loves this. And I like a dark roast. I like a strong coffee. Like I could drink espresso every day. So I'm trying the intense version and it's the Kirkland ones are the most cost effective for your money. Like these are like 30, I want to say 33, something like that. And you get 110. So it was equivalent. This price is almost the same as the Starbucks ones at Costco, but they give you 54. So I'm like, I'm definitely trying this one. I get double the coffee. Who doesn't like more coffee? The next thing we picked up is we needed some filters for our water filter. Um, so we wanted to give out the Kirkland brand ones a try because you got two extra filters and they were $2 less than the brand name. Okay, so the next thing here is for my fiance. He loves his snacks. He's like a kid at heart, I swear. So for crackers that he brings to work, he actually loves these sweet potato crackers, like obsessed. And they're actually not bad for you. So I don't mind him having these. And these ones are new. He's never tried these out, but we did see these on like a middle display in Costco where they put the new stuff. And someone actually nearby was like, those are amazing. You guys need to try them. So Justin really wanted to try them and he liked the cheesy flavor. So the cauliflower crackers, we will let you guys know how we like those. Picked up some bananas and these. I have heard from so many people that the spicy dill pickle is amazing. I've been obsessed with dill pickle lately, dill pickle salad, dill pickle. And I just really wanted to try these because I love me some spicy chips. So I'm excited for these ones. These Terra sweet medley chips are like sweet potato chips and they were on sale. We've had these before uh, when we went away to Vegas and we we're just trying to be healthier, being in bathing suits all the time. We were eating these um, by the pool and we actually really liked them. They were just super expensive. So these were on sale and for the amount you get, this was the steal of a deal. Okay, the next thing is another snack thing. These are mostly for my fiance, but I actually tried some the other day and they're delicious. So we're both going to be eating these from now on. So we picked up two boxes because, I mean, that goes pretty fast and we don't like to go to Costco all the time. So those are delicious. They taste like a healthier version of kind of like a Nutri-Grain, but they're like um, more crunchier. I don't know. They're really good. I recommend these for sure. Okay, the next thing we stocked up on was our cheese. We get the marble sliced. We use this for sandwiches, bagels, uh, burgers, pretty much a lot of stuff. And we had to get our shredded uh, Tex-Mex, which I, this is a staple in my uh, egg bite recipe. I got picked up an another couple ingredients to make my egg bites um, in the Instapot. If you guys haven't made egg bites in the Instant Pot, um, comment below because you're missing out. And if you want me to share my recipe that tastes so much better than the Starbucks recipe, I swear, let me know, comment below and I'll make a video, but definitely need tex mess shredded cheese. Um, next thing we did was stocked up on our salads. So spinach, I usually have that in smoothies. Then we got the dill pickle, our all time favorite salad. Um, we got two of those because they're just delicious. And I actually picked up this Baja one just to try out. I thought that the pumpkin seeds and the tortilla chips just sounded really yummy, like having something crunchy in the salad. So this should be great. Like I said, I'm going to be making salads for my lunches because I've been skipping lunch lately. I was bad last week and I was having like mostly just these for lunch, which isn't a lunch. It's a snack. So now that I have these in the fridge and I can just pour it into a bowl and put those chicken strips on top. I definitely am going to be getting more nutrients in, so I'm excited. We picked up a thing of 30 eggs, um, the Kirkland four pack of cheese pizza. We decided on the cheese because the pepperoni was like four or five dollars more, and we actually still have pepperonis in the fridge from the last time we went to Costco, 
and we have a ton of green pepper and onion so we can totally put our own toppings on these i think it was like 11 bucks for four that's amazing so that's a must have picked up some old-fashioned breakfast sausage um these just looked good just for anything really <laughs> breakfast sausage delicious uh picked up some lean ground beef we suctioned this off and i use this in every type of recipe and we heard a lot of good things about Costco's bacon. Now, I don't know if this is the right bacon. Comment below if you know. I've never bought bacon at Costco before, but we've heard that they have the best bacon. And I wanted some bacon to cook up and add into my egg bites. So that's why I picked up this bacon. And this was new. And I've seen quite a few people talking about this on their Instagram. And it looks delicious. It's like a bacon hash brown with... I don't even know like there's potatoes peppers onions like this is just like fry and go and it looks amazing we are big breakfast people around here we love our eggs and our breakfast things so this looks so good I feel like this is gonna be done in like one time it, it says eight portions but this this doesn't feel like eight portions to me I don't know maybe my portions are big Okay, so we're going to move on to this section over here. We had to pick up the cauliflower pizza kit. Um, it's gluten-free, and it comes with two pizzas inside and the sauce for them. I purchased this before, and I really liked it because it doesn't leave you with that full bloated feeling after you eat it. And it, I've had it for lunch, and it definitely kept me going all day, and I really liked it. They were actually on sale, so I said we definitely have to pick these up. Had to stock up on my cottage cheese for my egg bites and um, just sour cream, which I've been putting in a lot of different recipes lately. So over here, we had to get some marinara sauce. We we're all out of it. And this is my favorite gluten-free pasta ever. This spaghetti tastes amazing. Like I prefer this to regular spaghetti and some gluten-free pastas I do not like. So this one is delicious. And my fiance even eats this and he says it doesn't taste like fake pasta. <laughs> so we also wanted to try out a new alternative to mac and cheese. So I've seen a lot of people buy the Annie's mac and cheese. It looks like it's better. It's organic. I don't know. I didn't really compare it to regular craft dinner. If you guys know if it's actually better for you or what the difference is, just comment below. Let me know. But this, I don't know. It seemed good and they have different flavors. Like why not? I just, I just want to try this. The next thing that we picked up was these raviolis, the cheese and spinach ones. They were on sale and I just wanted a different pasta. We've been having a lot of like spaghetti and different noodles, but like haven't had any filled pasta. So I really wanted some ravioli. Picked up some ketchup cause we're all out. And this is one of my favorite sweet, um, like healthy sweet treats. Cause I am a big sweet tooth and these actually quench like my cravings, which is crazy because they have like no sugar. I don't know. They're delicious. I've only ever tried the red fish ones, but the peach rings are normally my favorite. So fuzzy peaches, things like that are my favorite candies ever. So I'm super excited. I'm probably going to dig into this right after this video. Let me know if you guys have tried these and if you like them. Um, and then we had to stock up on some gum. I don't have gum a lot, but my fiance works outside of the house still, and he definitely is a gum chewer. So I'm going to bring you guys on over here for our non-food related items. Okay, so we got two cases of this San Benedito sparkling water. We had never tried this before, but we have been big on sparkling water lately and wanted a plain one. And they just were the best bang for your buck. And we actually had these at dinner time and they're delicious. So I recommend. I picked up the um, flavored ones as well. So they come with like a lemon and a couple other flavors. I believe there is orange and raspberry maybe pomegranate pomegranate cherry so this looks delicious um no sugar of course in these and i can't wait to try them uh we needed some dishwasher packs i have not tried these i don't know if they are going to be okay with my allergies because they are not a natural or unscented they have a scent but costco is great at returning shit so 
I told my fiance, okay, let's try these out. If we don't like them, we'll just return them. No pain, no pain, no, like no hurt, right? So pick these ones up. This is a secret. I don't know if you guys know that you can buy this at Costco. If you buy lottery tickets, you get more money for your buck in tickets if you buy this at Costco. So basically, this is $100 worth of lottery tickets for $90. So yeah, you have to pay $90 up front to get these, but you save essentially 10% off your lottery tickets. And why not save on lottery tickets? Like, hello. Okay, so this one, guys, like, apparently these are back in like I don't know I don't know if you guys are into these or you know anyone but my fiance is super um following them right now they're like a huge investment thing like apparently you can flip these and like some of them could be worth thousands so it's basically like another lottery because we could have a card worth like five thousand dollars in here and I think this was like 30 bucks I don't know I didn't even check the price. But anyway, they have those at Costco if you guys want to go see. Okay, this was a steal of a deal. I was not planning on this. They were in the entranceway and they were $12 for two pairs of leggings. And I much needed them because my leggings have a hole in them right now because I am hard on everything. I think my washing machine is like the devil. It, it, it puts holes on everything. So I don't like expensive things anymore. So I'm going to give these a shot. They look super comfy, cozy. I grabbed a medium. Let me know if you guys have picked these up before from Costco and if you liked them. The next thing, next thing I picked up is my um, organic almond vanilla milk, the unsweetened one. I picked up two cases. I put this in my oatmeal. I put it in my coffee I and, and my smoothies. I had to think about that. Yeah, those three things. So I use a lot of these. They're the cheapest, um, most cost-effective organic option and sugar-free, and I just love them. So I picked up two boxes. And the next thing we got was we got these plate sets. So Costco actually had two versions of these. One had a slightly different pattern on them. And the one that had the other pattern had smaller bowls. Now, it came with the same amount as two boxes, but these extra smaller bowls, six of them, and it was $20 more. And I was like, when am I ever going to use these little smaller bowls? Like I only ever use one size bowls. So we actually picked up two boxes of these to make up for it. And so we saved $20 by getting them this way. We've been eating a dish set for a while. Um, we got a small one when we moved into this place and love it, but we are clumsy. We've broken a lot of the dishes and we just wanted a full white set to be sleek. So this dish set is gorgeous. Picked up some female must-haves. Definitely best spot to buy these. And last but not least, uh, this is our puppy food. So we always get our dog food at Costco. The last time we got puppy and this time since he's almost a year old, he'll be a year like mid-March I believe it's like the 17th of March it's crazy oh my goodness but we're switching him over to small dog and this is adult food because after a year you can start feeding them adult food and I heard somewhere that the only difference between the small dog or small breed food and the regular food is the size of the pebbles for them to chew is that true do you guys know that's so odd if it is but yeah, so we picked up some more food because he needed some more food. Okay, guys, so that's it for my Costco haul. If you guys haven't guessed already, go in the comments below. Guess how much this haul came out to be. I am going to release it over on my Instagram, and I'm curious to see if you guys get it. I We both guessed at the cash register, and I was more, like, Justin was closer to the actual total than I was, and the the sales, uh, the girl that worked there was like, the girls are always white, right? Why are, why did he get it right? I'm like, I don't know. I guess I didn't really account for the lottery tickets and the Pokemon. I, I didn't even pay attention. I didn't even know they were in the cart. So that's why, basically, that's the difference in what I guessed. Um, yeah, so guess your amounts below. If you guys have tried any of this stuff, let me know how you liked it. 
or if there's anything I need to pick up from Costco in my next haul, please, please, please tell me. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching my first Costco haul. Let me know if you like these types of videos. I'll definitely make more for you guys. And I hope you have an amazing evening. And thank you for watching. Bye, guys.